you know, we talked a little bit earlier about building out things that you're passionate about. So in my mind, there are, there are really two types of Excel people. You know, if you get past, well, let's say you get past, you know, the mom who's just tracking her coupons or, just, or you know, students, but there's really kind of two people. And in, in my mind, there's the, the application developers, which there are, you know, people who kind of live and breathe in VBA and, and they're building applications. And, and that's one piece of it. And another piece of broad stroke I see is really kind of business intelligence and analytics where people who are doing reporting, people who are doing uh, formulas, trying to figure out, you know, statistics, et cetera, and even the group at Model Off is around that. That's a bit of my background. So i just bring this to your attention. We'll start blogging over here in the next day or so. Uh, we'll start off with how does, how does Excel and things like the Hawthorne effect and things like that interplay with your analytics. Next up, talk about Office 2016 for Mac, which was released. So if you haven't taken a look at it yet, we saw from Dick's desktop, he's a, he's a Mac guy. I'm a Mac guy as well. So you go out there and check it out. And if you want to find out more about this and really what are the pros and cons, by all means, don't do what I initially did, which is to go out and do a Google search for Excel Mac 2016 and try to get some opinions. Here's why. You'll see things from you know, big, big magazines and things like that. And things, you know, it's basically just... This is junk, right? Here I'm on page four of Google finally, and I'm still not seeing anything that's worth it. It's all kind of, it's all from Microsoft, it's from InfoWorld, Mac rumors, people who don't really, who aren't in Excel every single day playing with a tool. They're just writing opinion pieces that don't matter for anything. So if you're a hardcore user, do what I did. Go over and find the people who are in this tool every day and read their blogs. Here's an yeah. example of one of them. Uh, Bacon Bits over there by Michael Alexander. So check this out at DataPit. He writes about the Excel 2016 function changes. I recommend you go and check this out. Number two, go over to Excel tables. Here's Zach Barisi because, you know, in, in, in Mac 2016, sorry, in Office 2016, one of the big features is having slicers. Well, he talked a bit about that here because he's a tables guy and, you know, the fact that it's not really there for tables yet. You know, it's for pivot tables, but it's not necessarily for, for, uh, it's not Table. necessarily for tables yet. Also, go over to Peltier's blog, John Peltier, where he talks quite a bit about this, where he goes into the highlights. And, yeah, there are some good things here. And, there's, and since he's a charts guy, predominantly what he's mostly known for, you know, he talks about some of the different chart types that are available now. They added waterfalls, histogram, Pareto's, et cetera. But there's also some bad things, you know, things they still need to step on, up on, and particularly around 2016 VBA, et cetera. So if you're an application developer, you know, there's be some concerns for you as well. Uh, and lastly, hey, if you haven't seen it yet, go over to Dick Moffat's blog. Go check yeah. it out. Uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more as well, but, you know, you've seen some of the tips, et cetera. Go over to themoffat.wordpress.com and check this out. I mean, you'll see a lot of the opinion pieces like we talked about earlier in the show here as well. And lastly, let's bring this back to me. As is, as is often the case, the last bit of news here, as is often the case, um, th there comes a time when stars of a certain show need to, need to just... Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, am I good? Okay. Yeah, good. Exactly. There comes a point where, where stars of a certain show, you know, they need to move on. You can think about Colbert, whenever he left The Daily Show, and then he ended up becoming bigger and, and all that sort of stuff. And, and similarly, we have our own star here on the show that, that's, that's moving on, that's, that's staking his own claim in the video world. He'll be very much under the Excel TV brand, but this guy is, is going to spread his wings and, and leave the nest and start up his own video show here under the Excel TV brand. Mr. Oz Du Soleil. Yeah. Uh, would you mind? Would you mind just chatting a little bit about that? Well, just um, just thinking about um, some uh, different takes on on Excel and data, and um, maybe going a little outside of the Excel world and and be more data, and and have some fun and and bring some people in and and get raucous. Yeah. So I am still in the lab with that, and it is raucous in the lab, so I want to bring some of that raucosity out to the viewers when it's ready, uh, and it'll still be part of Excel TV. Are you going to have a house band? You know what? Now you're getting <laughs> me thinking. Yeah, yeah, you want to play in it? Huh? I've, I've played in the same band for 45 years. 
Oh, what do you play? We're bluegrass band. What what is oh, guitar? Okay. All right. All right. Sounds great. Do you ever notice yes. most developers actually do play an instrument? Not all, but a lot do. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so, not music inclined. Right. Yeah, I, heard a, I heard a person at the last conference we were at, I was with Oz, and he said something to the effect of, I would listen to Oz read the phone book. Yeah, yeah, so no, you got a good thing. Good yeah, so, thing. So now you're going to get your chance. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is going to be fun. Um, so th this has been great. This has been great. So um, stay tuned, and I will let everybody know what's next. Um, so I'm, thanks. Yeah. So um, I got other news. Yes, this Friday I'm going to be teaching a five-hour workshop at the AMP conference. It's a nonprofit conference that's been around for 30 years. It's happening at uh, Portland State University Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I'm excited about it because it's a first. I was talking with one of the organizers and she was describing how they don't focus on data and Excel, though that's everything. They'll focus on, you know, board development and grassroots organization and um, and uh, grant writing. But this time we are going to be focused on Excel for five hours and I'm looking forward to it. Can I make a point here that what's really important about that is you're talking to business decision makers, right? And in this case, some of them are actually relatively small, which is good too. But the main thing is you're talking to business decision makers about mm -hmm. these issues. That's key. That's yeah. like, that's awesome. I mean, yeah. if you don't get business out of that, then you're not as good a salesman as I think you are. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. We'll see. No, um, it's a good opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And people are starting to uh, send me information, that, you know, Letting me see some of the spreadsheets that they work with, asking me about, yeah, let's yep. be sure to work with this kind of thing. Because they're dealing with some serious stuff. Some serious yeah. stuff. If they've got like a $100,000 to, to grant out, you know, they need to take the different applicants through the right vetting process on the timeline that was promised. And, you know, there's a lot that goes into making those decisions, and it's all data. <laughs> Yep, and uh, the last bit of news I'll share is that I'm going to start a Kickstarter campaign. I'm writing my second book. It's called Full Contact Data Management, and it would be nice to have illustrations to break up words and screenshots and words and screenshots and add some excitement to this idea of full contact data management. And what is that? Reminder that Excel is a tool. Excel is your helmet or your jock strap. <laughs> That's a new one. Yeah, the first half of the book is conceptual. What is going to help you be successful in this dirty sport? How do you have to think about data? How do you, what happens when you get new data in? Look at the data quality first. Excel tricks, no time for that. Not right away. So that's the kind of things that's happening in the first half of the book. And it would be nice to highlight that with good, relevant, fun illustrations. And that's what my Kickstarter campaign is going to be about. If I may add, Oz, that, that is really important, what you just said. That is, that people need to know that. Because the biggest problem, now that Excel has gone uh, completely data-centric, which, of course, I've been using it forever, but with Power Pivot, with Power Query, the biggest problem is, is two things. One, getting data. And you should talk about that, how you work in a company, and they say, can you go get this data from this guy? Talk to this guy. And he tells you to go jump off a roof. Right. Mm -hmm. I've had that or worse. Right. And then the second thing is bad data. They give yep. you crap data and, and the issue of, of how to how to um, uh, manipulate that. Right. There's a book out on that. And if you can talk about how you manage that part of it's people yes. issues. Right. And then the other one is how do you get the data regularly? If you're going to do an Excel spreadsheet that's going to be a reporting tool, it's not a one-time thing. You want it every month or every week. And, and in the case of that solution I showed you, they, they do that every day for the last eight years, right? And, and, and how do you get a repetitive, clean data source? These are the issues that you have to talk about because yep. 
you can't always use a, adventure works or whatever the heck right to, to right. Do data right yep so you're so right true. yep so you're right on the money i'm 100% behind you and if i can help you that'd be great us if you not great. coming great yeah yeah cuz you're talking about some things that i do talk about in the book is is Amen. how do you get data and then yeah. somebody says well i've got this canned report that kind of gets yeah. you what you want mm. well okay but you got to say okay is the data you, you want in there, but do you know how to get it out and get it in the shape that you need it in? Uh, uh, amen. Like, amen. Because they, they, they'd still want to give you it with page headers and, and page right. breaks and page numbers. And after all these years, it's just ridiculous. And that's when you see, that's when the, that's when the boxer drops his shoulders because you know the uppercut is coming, and you move, and then you counterpunch. That is what's happening in this book. Oh, I'm getting excited. Yeah. Oh, so, so thank you for that, Ozzy. We'll be.